<sighs> good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Um, this is me, Amy, the other half of Ring Stingers, but Mr. Ring Stinger is currently at work, earning me lots of money so we can go and travel the world. Now, I want to make this video because if my little sister turned around to me and said, Amy, I want to go to India, give me some advice. Firstly, I think he's got four kids and eight looking after him. But secondly, I just want to um, just give you a little video, really, just to tell you, because when you tell people you're going to India and you hear things, it does get you a bit, oh, now we've just been, hopefully you've seen the vlogs. So let's crack on with this. Number one, please forget what you've heard, what people are telling you. Um, a lot of people have never been to India and they seem to know everything about it. So when you tell your friends and your family, yeah, just booked a one-way ticket to India, you're probably gonna get a mixed reaction. Now, the population in India, last time I checked, was about 1.2 billion. Okay, so all these things that happen on the news, it's horrendous, it is, but it's a big ass country. These things happen at home. Just open your mind. Just open your mind because I'm telling you now, this country is absolutely amazing. So the second one, prepare. Plan your route. Spend every waking hour thinking about India. Looking on YouTube, looking at the Lonely Planet. Get yourself on Google. Be very, very prepared for everything and anything. Knowledge is power, especially somewhere like this because it is like a pantomime. It is pandemonic. Is that the word? It's crazy. It's absolutely it will blow your mind. So you have to open your mind and you have to prepare for everything. Inform your family of your roots. Once you've got it in stone and you know where you're going, you have to be reassure your family that you will check in. The Wi-Fi in India, <laughs> um, the electricity is on off, on off, on off. So the Wi-Fi is pretty bad. You can get an Indian SIM card. Um, it's not that easy because you have to actually be an Indian resident. There is ways around it, but I don't know how. Ladies, use your common sense. You wouldn't go out and get absolutely trolled, or you would, from where you are. So it doesn't mean just because you're here that you can go out, camera start wobbling, you can go out, just keep your wits about you. Be very visual, be very, taking your environment. Again, it's all be about being prepared. Now let's talk visa. Let me get comfy for this one. We live in Jersey in the Channel Islands, so our e-visa isn't recognised on this island. We had to go with trail finders, we went with trail finders, and we paid £250 a pop. Now that is extortionate. It was a year long visa, it was multiple entry. Get onto the website, the Indian visa, will literally, even if you're the most patient person in the world like Mr. Ringsing, it will push you to your limits. So if you're like me, get angry quite a lot, I'd probably get an agency. But yeah, um, we like I said 250 quid. They're looking, you're looking about 80 to 90 pound for a single entry. There's multiple visas, but that's not really my forte. Just go onto the government website and follow all their instructions. Now, <laughs> backpack, bear with me. Excuse me, head. This, is our backpack it is a 60 litre euro hike we got it from blacks um we got it in the sale for about 50 quid i generally think it's too big because at one point i was carrying 18 kilograms on my back and it was just the bigger the bag ladies the bigger your bag the more shit you're gonna fit in there um i did have the i was going to get loads of things and send them back to the uk i was quoted about 50 quid for 2.9 kilograms so it's it's expensive um, it depends on how fit you are and how much you want to carry. There's loads of shopping. The shopping in India is unbelievable, and they do cater for um a little bit more rump meat on your um on your bones. That there is there's so much shopping. So it depends on how long you're backpacking for. We were meant to be backpacking for um a couple of years, but thank you, didn't happen. Can't mention the word channel will get blocked, but you know what I'm thinking. This is my biggest advice to any of you ladies, and I suppose the men that you're going, don't be a wallflower. Let them know that you're here. You're there. Hi, I'm here. Ain't gonna kidnap someone that's got a big gob on you, are you? No, I'm just joking. But still, you don't be timid. If you're a very timid person, you need to. I think the word is British etiquette. See, you need to let it go. You just need to be loud. You need to be proud. If there's anybody's making you feel uncomfortable, tell them to. <whistles> now, I'm going on to the second one. This is crucial. Learn the bloody language. Don't be a typical English person where everybody speaks English. Learn the language. It makes such a massive difference to your travels because you will interact with the people more. Now, basic Hindi, I'm not fluent, but I know enough that I can understand what they think that I can't understand. And there was a few situations where me and Scott were in 
where I'm glad that I learned the language instant going into Pushka. Um, I could hear them trying to charge us more for what they were meant to and they were having a bit of a dispute about it. So I very kindly told them to um, give me my change. I'm not stupid. I can understand what you're saying. Um, they were quite taken back. Um, it's, it's just little things. For me, I'm a nosy person. There was no way that I was going to India and they're all sitting, talking in their lovely language and I'm not understanding what they're saying. No frigging way. Denyavad, um, thank you. Um, where's the toilet? Just do basic things like that, but I do think you should make an effort with the language. It's not hard to learn. I learned it in about three months. I know. Um, I downloaded an app. I paid for the app. Don't know what the app's called. Um, be aware though that I learned all the male phrases. So when I was interacting, <laughs> they'd look at me like, what? They understand the gist of it, but I do intend to learn. I can't give you too much information because our route's right there and it's all secret, secret. But I do, I am intending to learn the basic in most of the countries we go. It's a sign of respect and I want to know what they're all saying. Now, this is the best. I wanted to give you ladies some advice. Ta-da! The Shiwi. Yeah, it's clean. This little beauty is just the best invention since the wheel. Okay, now I'm not going to give you a demonstration, but you can kind of get it. It is kind of clean. Put it, stick it on and go for a wee because don't sit on the toilet seats. If you've never been, the things you've heard about the toilet seats, they're true. Some of the um, places where you're desperate and you want and you get caught short, you ain't going to want to sit down on them toilet seats. Um, I've been a carer and I've, for many years, and I've seen a lot of feces, but damn, shit through the iron needle everywhere you go. Not me, just in general. So yeah, trains, if you're on a sleeper bus and you want to jump off and go for a wee behind the wall, you will get a few licks and your looks, licks, ah, if you're lucky, um, you might get accused of being a chick with a dick, it doesn't matter, it's better being a chick with a dick than a chick with a wet gusset, you hear me? Right girls, this is what I, I looked into a lot because we're going to talk periods, time of the month, armies in home, whatever you want to call it, um, travelling while on your periods, it's shit, of course it is. It's your hormones are going crazy, the heat. If any of you guys suffer with, the, when you're on, you get hot out. It's facts, not in like, hey, sexy kind of thing. It's awful. Um, Tampax in India, good luck trying to find them. It's just a no for me. And they're the really teeny little ones. Yeah, I need mean, the really big ones. So yeah, um, you can get the sandwich towels out there. They're not ideal with, with, the, with the heat because you can guarantee the day that you book your sleeper train for a nice 23 hour journey, Mother Nature will go, Knock, knock, knock. Hi, here's your period. <laughs> Every time. Um, go get onto Amazon. You can get the reusable sandwich towel pads. I probably don't think they're the best because the heat, the smell, where you're going to store them, where you're going to wash them, are they going to be sanitised? I actually took me, and if I'm honest, I've, we were gone for about nine months. I've still got some left, but it depends on, on your flow. Nice. Hope you're not having your lunch or your dinner or your breakfast when you're watching this. Sorry, boys, but it's a fact of life. Without periods, there is no life. So, yeah. Right, let's talk skincare. Oh, um, you will be sleeping in some really dodgy places, and I'm not just talking dodgy for safety. I'm talking dodgy putting your head on these things that look like a pillow, don't smell like a pillow. Um, you can get all your skincare and things out there. A lot of their moisturisers have bleach in them. I don't know why. Well, we do know why. Freaking ridiculous. Again, take it. Don't be this. this how can I word this? You're backpacking, you will get a few spots, but it's it's kind of the look. Do you know what I mean? Um, you can get your facials out there. Again, just be aware that a lot of the places I looked into, there's bleach in the moisturisers, bleach in the facials, and I like to have a nice golden look. I don't want to be like bright, bright white all the time. Oh, hair care. Now, if you are a blonde, yeah, you're going to lose a lot of hair. Well, I did. Um, it's the heat. You Make sure you take the UV spray with you because this is just knackered. I'm actually going to have it all chopped off. Um, a lot of their shampoo is the black shampoo for people with dark hair. Um, again, girls, this is, if anybody's been following our channel, you know I don't usually look like this. There's been weeks that I haven't washed my hair, brushed my hair. Make sure you take your hair bubbles, whack it up. Don't worry about all that girly crap. You're backpacking. The world is a beautiful place. You haven't got to look like a bloody well model all the time. Not all the time. Yeah. Right. Another one that I've been asked a lot about is covering up. This is inappropriate there. If you've got sexy shoulders like me, you need to cover them up. 
while you're in somebody else's country, you have to respect the rules. There are some people that don't. I saw a lot of travellers that were walking around somewhere like Mumbai with the shorts, very short, who wears short shorts on now, um, with the vest tops on. Just don't do it. Get yourself one of these. It's just a bog standard scarf. They're about three quid off Amazon. I will put a few links below. You can, can't be asked to wash your hair, wrap your hair up. You can use it for covering your sexy shoulders up. You can use it for a towel on the beach. You can use it for a pillow. You can use it as a blanket. You can lose, use it to wrap around you while you're going for a wee because you don't want anybody to see your lady bits. Amazing. Honestly, this is just, yeah, it's clean. So get yourself a cover up. Um, the beaches, while we're on the subject, there's lots of beaches in, in where am I thinking now? North Goa, we went to the one in Mumbai. This was some down south. The only place for me that would be acceptable for you to show your friggin bodies off would be Goa. Um, you are gonna get a lot of looks because you lovely lot that are from India that are watching, are, a lot of you aren't used to seeing um, a Western woman. So yeah, I just cover up. I took a lot of, you've seen the vlogs hopefully, what are they called? I don't know, dungarees. Dungarees, I took loads of dungarees and a t-shirt. Don't overpack. I literally took two t-shirts, Three dungarees, some yoga pants, because you want to keep your legs covered, because you can buy it all there. Don't be like, when I first, I chucked so much, I had so much planned, packed even, it was and it was just stupid. I just chucked it all. You can get the lovely sari dresses on the beach made for you. You can just get everything and anything. So as much as when you're packing, you're thinking, oh, I might need that 17th pair of this, you don't. You can get it there, unless you're on a really tight budget. It's just no, you can get it there. So calm down on the packing, get yourself a scarf, respect the country that you're in, cover up and you'll be fine. Right, which does lead me to the next one, covering up and pictures. So for instance, me and Scott were on a train for, for what felt like many days. We got off the train in, I'm gonna say Udaipur and I tell you what, I was a Kardashian for about 20 minutes. Literally, it was like the paparazzi were going ape. It doesn't just apply for the blondes or the pinks. Again, they're not used to seeing Western women. Don't draw attention to yourself. For me personally, I didn't want to draw any attention to myself. <laughs> I'm laughing. <laughs> Have you seen the vlogs with me wearing pink? Yeah, that was an intentional, but you will get the, Madam, can I have a picture? It never got tiring for me because they seem to be so interested in mine and Scott's journey. We're vlogging, so we've got the camera. So th there, there was a, there's a lot of that. Scott wasn't as popular as me, but just expect pictures if, it's driving you mad, nah heed then you bad, which means no thank you, and just let it go, don't, and just walk away. Um, I saw it lots of times, I don't know how many mantelpieces I'm on, or how many, um, how can I say this, happy memories, but it's pictures, it's it's just how they do things, and it's just, just embrace it, just smile, it's not hurting anybody. I was thinking if we were gonna charge a rupee a picture, oh my God, I'd get my private jet, and I wouldn't have to bother with sleeper trains anymore. Maybe that's one for the dragons then. Um, first aid kits, pills, what do you take? We took Imodium. We, do you know what? We didn't actually use them in India. We we didn't have the shits or anything like that. Again, use your common sense. You're walking around. They, they haven't got fridges. There's a lot of vegetarian food. Mira Shakahari. I'm a vegetarian. Shakahari Do you do vegetarian food? Nahi Mars. No meat. Rewind that. Play it. Rewind it. Play it. Learn that. We took Imodium, Paracetamol, Ibuprofen. You can get certain tablets over the counters there. Valium! <coughs> and other things that aren't that you can't get here without a prescription. Um, we did take them because... I don't know if I can even talk about this. Because when you're on a sleeper bus or a sleeper train for like a year of your life, you need something to take the edge off it because they're noisy. Um, I don't know if they're safe. It's up to you. I'm not saying that they are. I'm just saying that for me, I felt like I had to. So... Yeah, um, you can buy your paracetamols and all that kind of thing out there. We did take a little first aid box because I'm quite accident prone. Do you remember the hampy vlog where my knee kind of disjointed um, and I had popped it back in? Not that a first aid box would help with that. There's an alcohol there, but yeah, just take a little one because alcohol gel, especially now with the current climate, I can't mention that word on this channel because poof, but I'm not gonna mention that because I don't know any more than you do just because I'm sitting in front of a camera. I don't know about the, um, so yeah, Marf Kana, excuse me. Shopping local, go and support the locals. I've said this all the way through this. You go in shopping, 
go to the locals. The, when you're on the beaches, we can talk about Goa specifically, and the, we'll talk about Goa specifically now. Um, you get a lot of the young kids, they walk up and down the beach, they try to sell you lanterns, they're a quid. Um, they try to sell you just jewellery. We were, there are a lot of pregnant Indians when we were there, God bless you all, that were just selling us jewellery. Now, it depends on your budget. It's really hard not to. It really, really is because we have won the lottery living in the Western country and a pound to them, it makes such a massive, massive, massive difference. Now, the touts over there, oh God, let's go on to the next, next one. The touts in India, I hate the word touts because it's quite a degrading word because they, you might think they're ripping you off. Charge you an, an extra 50p for your tuk-tuk oh, or an extra 20p for your chai tea. Yeah. Just pay it. They're, they're, they're not trying to rip you off of thousands and thousands. I'm not going to touch too much on that subject because I could go on and on. When you land in New Delhi, you will stand out like a sore thumb because you. Will, if you're from England, you're going to be luminous white and it can get really freaking tedious. You go inside a coffee shop and they're there trying to sell your tours. You're walking down the street and you get the government card. You can't go there. You, um, you're not allowed to because you're a Westerner. It's bullshit. But if you've got any questions about that, I could go on and on and on. Just message me and then we'll we'll sort that out. So I hope that this little vlog has been a little bit useful for you. Um, just go to India. They are going to need our support when it's safe to. Again, this is all when all this crap has gone. Just research it. Just be safe. Just use your common sense. Don't get absolutely paraplegic on the fenny and then walk around naked and we all over the floor. I don't know who would do that. Yeah. That's it. Just research. Be safe. Um, me and Scott are planning on going away next October. <laughs> we are going back to India because, oh, I could live there. I could move there now. The Indians, have the, they're the nicest people in the world. They're hospitality. They're friendly. But just be aware because there's arseholes all over the world. So, yeah. Oh, look at it. Isn't it beautiful? So, that's me done. Any questions, drop them down below. Please give us a little like, um, please give us a little subscribe. We have to keep putting content out on our channel, so it's probably going to be a lot of crap. Um, I hope you don't think this is crap, but I'm waffling on now. As they say in India, firmalinga!